All right, I'm going to show you how to make a text bubble or a speech bubble. Come on up here and choose File. Click New. Click. Give it a choose pixels right here, PX. Make it 700 by 700. Choose Advanced Options. Come down here and choose this thing and choose Transparency and then click OK. Then come up here on the left and you can either, if you want one that's kind of rounded or oblong, use the ellipse, the ellipse tool. If you want a rectangular one, use the rectangle tool. They're, the, all the steps are pretty much the same except the rectangle tool has an, a rounded option, a rounded corners option. So I'm going to show you how to use the rectangle tool. Choose that and then come over here. Dry your rectangle. I don't know if this is going to show up until I fill it. But before you fill it, over here on the left, it says rounded corners. Put a check mark in it. And then you can make the number go up and down here. Uh, my mouse is a little sensitive today. I've been trying a setting. So you can go down to zero, which is a square corner or go up to more rounded corners there's 51 so I'm going to choose my fill tool and I'm going to switch my colors around and make the white the foreground color and then I'm going to come over here and fill it and you can see the rounded corners on it now I'm going to come up here and choose the free tool, free select, and just going to figure out where you want your little, I don't know what they call that thing, but click and drag. And then come up here. I guess it's a tail. I can click here and then double click and then choose your fill tool again. Come on over here and fill it. Then come up here to select. Choose select none. And then come over here on the right where your layer is. Right click on it. Come down here where it says alpha to selection and choose that. And you could shrink this all down and uh, the, the page and the layer part down to the bubble size, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and use it just the way it is, export it like this. I'm going to show you how to put a border on it. So come on over here and choose Select. And come down here where it says Border. Let me make sure you can see this thing that popped up. Okay. Right here it says pixels. I've got it for five. That's good enough. And then choose OK. And it made a border there. I'm going to come back over here and switch my colors on my f on my uh, fill tool here. I'm going to switch the foreground and the uh, background back to the way they were. And then make sure it says fill whole selection right here. And then come in here inside your border and fill it. And then come up here to image and choose crop to selection. Then come up here to select. Choose select none. And as you've your saved uh, text bubble, you can import it to any program and use it. And it has a see-through background, so you don't have to worry about nothing, anything else showing up, just the text bubble. But say you want the um, 
this little tail thing on the other side you can just come over here choose the uh, flip tool click it and then come over here and click on it so anytime you make a text bubble you can save a left and a right next thing to do would be of course to save it and then come up after you save it do export and uh, text bubble you can put a an L or an R um, I think that's an R All right and then click export and export And then you can import it into any program you need a text bubble for. You can make round ones, any colors, and mix and match your colors. You can add your text in another program, or you can even add text in this program. Just come over here, click on the text tool, and enter it in. And that's it for this one. I hope it helps you out. Uh, please comment, rate, or subscribe. If you if it if it helped you, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.